2015 was a great, now was not only a great year for movies, but it was also my first year on YouTube. And for the, with the moments we had, we had some good moments. Time to go be a spy and save the world. We had some bad moments. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And of course, you had me reviewing movies. And right now, let's talk about what I think were, in my opinion, were the best movies of 2015. So right now, go find, go find a concession snack and, and grab a few snacks. And let's talk about what I think were the best movies of 2015 right now. Number 10. Ant-Man. In my opinion, the great part about Ant-Man is that Unlike mo most like Marvel's mo most movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where you get where you have big movies with huge explosions, and this one they calm it down a little bit, which I kind of enjoy, and I also think that it's also a pretty good movie. But in some parts, I do think um, it does get a little chaotic, especially near the final act, and I also think it's not as good as the other works that Marvel has put out. But anyway, for me, this is a great movie for anyone at any size. Number 9 Inside Out Pixar strikes again with, with not only one of their best animated features, but probably one of their best ideas for a film, which is what goes up inside your head and how it affects people outside. And even with the flaws of the first few minutes or so, this is one family film that's definitely worth viewing for the mind. Number 8 Jurassic World Even though it's not as good as Jurassic Park, which is kind of something we, which is to be expected, and some of the characters are a little unnecessary, it still is a fun movie that has a lot of good action scenes and demonstrates how dangerous the park can be. Even with this short saying for me, the park is open and it's definitely worth visiting. Number 7. Spectre. Ah yes, the first ever review I did on YouTube, and it went to it was the new James Bond movie. I really enjoyed Spectre, even though it wasn't as great as the other two Bond films I saw, which were Casino Royale and Skyfall, which were masterpieces in Bond films. But still, when it came to Daniel Craig's final run as Bond, it was definitely worth seeing. Number 6. Avengers Age of Ultron. While this movie may not be as good as the first Avengers, and I could have wished it had been a little more darker and some scenes could have been taken out, I still thought that Avengers Age of Ultron was still a fine movie that I recommend people checking out. Even though it may not be the best movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it is still fine to watch. Alright guys, we're getting closer to one, and let's begin with number five. Number five. Kingsman The Secret Service. Imagine if you took James Bond, but only made a few things. Make it like a league of young spies. Um, two, make it very violent. And three, make it have a lot of curse words. And you have Kingsman. Not only one of the most fun spy films I've seen all year, but also one of the most creative action films that's also pretty damn funny. Even though it may not be the typical spy film that most people would think it was going to be, it definitely has a spot in my top ten. Number four. Mad Max Fury Road. When this movie came out, it exploded. People loved Fury Road. And when I when I rented it and I was like, holy crap, this is a great movie. And, and even when I was watching with my grandpa, we noticed all the crazy stuff. It's like, oh, one vehicle has a Camaro case, and oh, that oh that has a fire guitar. And even if they were like that, I would still want that guitar. And also, I like how the action is so really crazy. And even though I really, it only the main action is showed in the first act or so, it is still a very good movie. What else can I say? But what a movie! What a lovely movie! Number three. Bridge of Spies. In order to make a movie about the cold work good, no, no, better than good, amazing, you, you get four people to help you out. Steven Spielberg as your director, the Coen brothers as your writers, and Tom Hanks as your lead actor. And you get Bridge of Spies, which is not only one of the best takes on the Cold War, but if anyone else can do it... This is a perfect way to demonstrate how to film a movie of the Cold War. Even if the second act is kind of slow, there's no perfect way to make a better movie on the Cold War than this. Number two. Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. 
After we had a few ups and downs in the Star Wars trilogy, The Force Awakens got Star Wars back up on its feet and made it go back up. Because not only is this a great re return for Star Wars, but it's also a great way to show how J.J. Abrams can show how, how when he takes something like... After he does something like Star Trek, and he shows how good he can make it, and now he goes to Star Wars to show how also awesome he can make it. It all it deserves to be viewed by everyone, and I hope you really see enjoy seeing it. Now, before I tell you what I think is the best movie of 2015, in my opinion, let's talk about what is, in my opinion, the worst movie of 2015. And the worst movie of 2015 is... Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2. Just... Who the hell needed a sequel to Paul Blart? The, movie, the first movie wasn't that great, though, but at least it was somewhat watchable. Paul Blart, to another hand, is unwatchable. It's painful to sit through. It's unfunny. And I just best recommend, if you really want to show a family comedy to someone else, then find something better with your time. Just screw Paul Blart 2. It's an example of why Hollywood just won't stop milking sequels out of the cash cow. And my favorite movie of 2015 is... Creed. Sadly, I didn't have time to review Creed because I was currently focusing on my Christmas reviews, but right now, let's briefly talk about it. Just, oh my god, it's one of the best sports drama I've seen so far. Michael B. Jordan's great in it. Sylvester Stallone's awesome in it. Ryan Cooler was the right person to direct it because I love Fruitvale Station. It's a per it's all it's a perfect movie. If you haven't seen it yet, then listen to what this says on the screen right now. You see it? Then go see Creed. It's a great, great movie. It's probably one of the most underrated yet most, most freaking amazing. It's a great movie, and I think, in my opinion, it's the best movie of 2015. I'm Jeff Buckland. Thanks for watching my review on my top 10 movies of 2015, and see you all in 2016. Ooh.